the White House, Congress, and the press all bracing for the public release of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's report. That's the Justice Department right there. Attorney General William Barr expected to send his edited version to Congress later this morning, and Democrats already blasting his decision to brief the White House and hold a press conference before Congress and the public can see the report. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, starts us off. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, there is outrage and frustration here in Washington this morning. The release of the Mueller report has been nearly two years in the making, and now with just hours to go until that redacted version is finally made public, there is a new political fight about the rollout. Democrats overnight accusing the attorney general of doing the president's partisan bidding, and now this morning they are demanding that Barr cancel his press conference. Attorney General Bill Barr this morning set to come before cameras to discuss the redacted version of the Mueller report before lawmakers and the public have even seen it. Democrats are fuming, questioning the attorney general's independence. The chairman of the House Judiciary Committee accusing Barr of waging a media campaign on behalf of the president. Attorney General Barr is not allowing the facts of the Mueller report to speak for themselves, but is trying to bake in the narrative about the report to the benefit of the White House. Barr has promised transparency, but just a week ago he told Congress he couldn't discuss the report further until it was made public for all to see. I'm not going to say anything more about it until the report is out and everyone has a chance to look at it. Democrats are also concerned that the president was given a heads up. As ABC was first to report, the White House has been briefed, but only on the broad strokes of the report, something the president hinted at in a radio interview announcing today's press conference. You'll see a lot of uh, uh, very strong things come out tomorrow. Attorney General Barr is going to be giving a press conference. Uh, I, maybe I'll do one after that. We'll see. And George, Democrats are now taking things a step further in a statement just now. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi say that Barr's handling of this report has led to a crisis of confidence in his independence. And they say the only way to restore the public's trust in this investigation is for Mueller himself to come and testify before Congress as soon as possible, George. Okay, Mary, thanks very much for being our chief legal analyst, Dan Avers. And then let's begin with this uh, fight over how it's going to be released right now. It is unusual for the Justice Department to go out and do a press conference before they put out the underlying documents. Well, for two reasons. First of all, because typically the way this works is when the Justice Department has an announcement, they, they take a document, they release it either beforehand or at the time of their press conference, and then they answer questions. Here, no one's going to be able to see it. And, and the second point is that, you know, it, there's an argument to be made that he's going to explain the process. He's going to talk about how he did what he did, except he's already explained that to us. I mean, we've heard it in congressional testimony. He's explained the color coding, uh, the four areas of redactions. Uh, there's nothing new about how he's going to go about the process that we could learn from a press conference. What will be new today is what we learn about what evidence Robert Mueller found about obstruction of justice and why he chose not to make a prosecutorial decision. Right. Three key things I'm looking for here. Number one is what is the evidence of obstruction that led Robert Mueller to say, I can't exonerate. Number two, we know that Robert Mueller concluded that there's no evidence of a conspiracy with the Russians. Not no evidence. He couldn't establish a conspiracy. He couldn't, he couldn't establish. That's fair. He could not establish a case that there is a conspiracy to influence the election with the Russians. Um, but that doesn't mean that there weren't conversations uh, with the Russians. It doesn't mean that the Russians, as we know, uh, did outreach. What, what was the response? There's a lot of detail there still to come. And for me, the most important legal question is going to be, did Robert Mueller cite the Office of Legal Counsel opinion that you can't indict a sitting president when deciding not to decide. And that would suggest he wanted this to be turned over to Congress. Correct, correct. And not that he was not punting this to Attorney General Barr, but that he was saying, in effect, look, I can't indict him anyway. That would be a very important statement from Robert Mueller. You'll be here all day to analyze yep. that. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.